stuck. And I was just like to have a nickname. So I took it and I exulted in it. And what ended up happening is I told everyone about it and then the name started going around. And now lots of people know about the name and don't even know me. And they have all kinds of expectations when they meet me. And I was like, and I have used other names when I other, went other places. And I really felt good about the fact that like, there are people in places that didn't know me by that name. Me and my friend are gonna compile a book of stories about our lives, like an uh, autobiography sort of. And we're gonna make a movie out of it, just to show people like, what the fuck, like this can be an intermission. You know, how this is a for themselves how to deal with love and what kind of love they want and what kind of love they're gonna give and all of that shit it's totally individual personally well it's just there it happens it's like studying shit fuck to your system and then when you take it it's basically the chemical that would be released right at that moment of death and like you go out for about 15 minutes, come back, and it never happens. Hi, Chalupa! <laughs> All it takes is like two or three hits. And it was just like, when I did it, it was just like, I let it out, and it was just like a flash. Just like, just like. Stories just like, like you would never believe could happen to one person or two people. But, oh man. I don't think people are ready for it right now. I said I want no generic name to label me like we label things in this society because man supposedly named everything in the Garden of Eden after he was put there because it's not anyone else's right to label someone else or something else. Wax. Exactly. Technically the wax never really goes anywhere. What's up guys? I Technically, the wax never really goes anywhere. We call it the fourth dimension, you know, it's just like a dimension where it's beyond like And somehow broadcast it from... Who gives a fuck about what some teacher says that's like 60 years old and who's living in the 50s? Or some fucking uh, movie director that says, oh, that's not status quo or... <laughs> doesn't matter if like you didn't accomplish your goal to the fullest extent at least you tried and you you know you did something if you just sit there and bitch about this and that oh I could never do this I could never do that because I don't know enough people or I don't have the skills or this and that just fucking do it and if you put your best into it and you're all into it it should make you feel good because you tried and you know you tried and 
just because someone says, oh, it was a failure, you may not think that way. I never think that way about anything I do. I don't fail. I just keep progressing and keep trying to do better. you in my little project even if it's just this little excerpt here you can include us if okay. you want or me at least i don't know about this guy uh, the project what are you those are awesome shoes they don't like my converse though my converse are just too plain 